Hello everyone! Welcome to Music, Math, and Me. So today we will focus on math. So the lesson that I will be discussing is properties of parallelograms. So when we say properties of parallelograms, we have uh, five different properties of parallelogram. But we will just focus on the first property. So what is that property? The first property is opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So when we say congruent, they have equal measurements. So I have here parallelogram. The name of our parallelogram is love. L-O-V-E. So here, our opposite sides are L-O opposite to E-V. And L-E opposite to O-V. So what does it mean? It means that L-O is equal to E-V. So how are we going to solve for X, L-O, and E-V? The value of X, the measurement of L-O, and the measurement of E-V. So first, we need to equate the two linear expressions or first, de first degree expression. So we have here 6x plus 10 is equal to 8x minus 2 because of your first property opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent or equal. So to solve for x we need to equate 6x plus 10 equals 8x minus 2 using this property. So how do we solve this? So first, look at your uh, x. You have 6x and 8x. Eliminate the smaller one. So you have 6x. Eliminate this. If you subtract negative 6x, uh, at the left side, you will also subtract at the right side by the property of equality. So you have here subtraction property of equality. So this is now cancel. So this is 10 equals 8x minus 6x is 2x. Then copy negative 2. Then how are you going to eliminate negative 2? Because you need to isolate this as 2x. So, this is now plus 2 by opposite sign to eliminate it. Another plus 2 to the other sign by addition property of equality. So, this is now 2x equals 12. By division property of equality, we divide 2 both sides. So, our x here is after after solving for x we can now so this is our x 6 get the va the measurement of lo how by substituting your value of x here so you have 6 times 6 plus 10 6 times 6 plus 10 is 36 plus 10, 46. So, our LO is 46 units. And since they are equal, therefore, our EV is also 46 units. So, this is how we apply the first property, which is Opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. Uh, let's proceed to the second example. Okay, this is our ex second example. So what if our given uh, measurements are like this? So you have LO equals 2X plus Y. OV equals 3X minus 2Y. EV equals 5. And LE equals 4. 
So how do we solve here your x value and your y value? So we will use here two equations. So our LO is opposite to EV, therefore they are equal. So 2x plus y equals 5. So this is our first equation. And our LB opposite to OV. They are equal also. So we have 3x minus 2y equals 4. Now, how do we so solve if you have two different equations? We, will, we can use elimination or substitution. But I prefer here elimination because you have here negative 2. So we just make this as positive 2 to eliminate the variable y. So how do we make this posit positive 2? The opposite is negative 2. So it should be opposite. So we will multiply this, all the terms, by 2. So this becomes uh, 4x plus 2y equals 10. Now, using elimination method, if we're going to add the terms, this will be become 0. Negative 2y plus 2y equals 0. And 3x plus 4x equals 7x. So, your y is eliminated. So, you have now single variable which is x. Then, add 4 plus 10, you have 14. By division property of equality, we will divide 7 both sides. So, our x is 2. So if your x is 2, how will you get the value of y? So we're done with our x, which is 2. And to solve for y, we will substitute here. 2 times 2 plus y equals 5. So where did I get this equation? So in this equation, 2x plus y equals 5. So I just substituted your value of x. So 2 times 2, 4 then eliminate 4 by subtracting both sides so minus 4 both sides your y is 1 that's all I, I hope you learned something new today and this will be the application of the first property which is opposite sides of a par parallelogram are congruent Thank you, and don't forget to like and subscribe here in my YouTube channel, uh, Music, Math, and Me.